Libra, this is a reading for you for the 4th of July through to the 11th of July. <clears throat> now I'm going to be using the Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine and the illustrations are by Dan Craig. I've got a bit of a cold at the minute, so excuse me. Excuse any... Um, <clears throat> untoward noises coming from my sinuses okay now I'm gonna cut them and take them first card ooh the knight of cups the knight of water Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle. Falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair. A lack of balance in a relationship, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. A love of art and poetry. So whatever is resonating with you there from all those little mini sentences on the bottom of that card. <clears throat> The Eight of Pentacles, the work card. Learning all you can about a... Mm, sorry. The imagery on these cards is fantastic. Learning all you can about a subject or career. Going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor. Attention to detail, skilled work that you love. Nice. Eight of Earth, Eight of Pentacles. Wow, you've got the balance card exactly where Aquarius had the balance card. Your fellow air sign. Interesting. And also, Libra, this is your card, because it's balance. We have the scales here with with a rainbow blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary successful compromise the power of diversity self-control patience and balance and your fourth card is the knight of wands Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless. Events requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts. Stay focused. A passionate relationship. Well, we definitely have passion. We've got the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So there is definitely passion here. And and work. It's just possibly a passion con a passionate connection in the workplace. Or a passionate feeling about what you do. Let's see what the fifth card is. Wow. Aquarius also had six of wands. And I've shuffled them loads. Victory. This is the victory card. Six of wands. Six of fire. Victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Promotions, awards or scholarships. And your final card. Seven of Pentacles, the harvesting card. Seeds well planted. Efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience. A time of, for resting and planning for the future. Unnecessary worry it can also represent. So if you are worrying unnecessarily, this card is calling you not to do so. But on the whole, I'd say that's a pretty good reading. Well, let's let's delve deeper. The Knight of Water, the Knight of Cups. This is what most people yearn for in romance. 
It's that feeling of being over the top, romantically, passionately, dreamily, head over heels in love. Your eyelids flutter and your heart is completely twitter-patted. Twitter-patted. The source of your affections is perfection personified, or so you think. There's poetry, roses, chocolates, candlelight and love letters. Texts, emails. Anyway, you can't get anything else done because your thoughts are stuck on this knight in shining armour. An emotional intervention is probably underway. The question is, are you the one being healed or doing the healing? This knight is romantic and idealistic about love. Dramatic, poetic and utterly enchanting. Sounds amazing, right? Yeah, well, hold on <laughs> while I turn the page. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, hold on just a minute. This kind of emotional experience knocks you off balance. Whether this really is a romance or just something else in your life that has your heart a flutter. You need to plant your feet flat on the ground and anchor your emotions. Get some balance. You have the balance card in the third position. If this night represents someone else in your life, then you need to understand that there's a chance that all this has staying power, maybe. However, there's an even greater chance that it doesn't. Knights of water tend to be in love with being in love. The moment the relationship starts to feel mundane, they're on to the next conquest because their whole life is wrapped up in keeping that powerful feeling alive. Remember, this night might be you. Making an honest assessment of yourself. If you're repeating this type of pattern in your romantic life, it's time to snap out of it. And the words of awareness for this card is, there's more to life than romance. Your brain isn't your enemy. So think about what's going on here. If it feels like things are moving way too fast, than they probably are. It's okay to enjoy the experience, but don't lose yourself in it. Don't dismiss what your friends and family are saying. You're the knight. Pay attention to how you might hurt the other person. And if this card is referring to other people, enthusiastic, captivating, romantic, passionate, idealistic, artistic, flirtatious, fickle, melodramatic, ingratiating, Addictive or codependent, jealous or manipulative. The additional meanings of this card are a love of art and beauty, a trusted keeper of secrets, a consoler, gushing emotional displays, powerful spiritual experiences, vivid, impactful nocturnal dreams, playing on people's emotions, exaggerated experiences. Well, there's a lot to take on there. I mean, what you've got to do is go with what's resonating with you from all those different words, from all those different sections. But from the main section, I mean, is this something that's too good to be true? Is this someone that wants to move too fast in relationships and they bounce from one, they sort of branch from one to the next? Because they just want that feeling of what it's like when you're first involved in something and everything's like sparky. Or is that you? Okay, the Eight of Pentacles next. The Eight of Earth. It's time to really get busy and focus on your goal. Your dedication to your tasks will lead you to master your gifts and become the best you can be. While this card can indicate, indicate repetitive work, it's important to remember that with each creation you become better and better at what you do. Learn everything you can. Close your mind to other goals or daily distractions and throw yourself into your passion. Your work will be noticed and recognition of your skill will make you proud. This card can also reflect the need to learn more about your trade by reading, taking courses, attending seminars or finding a mentor. The additional meaning of this card. Desperately wanting to learn. Making money. Superior craftsmanship, apprenticeship, attention to detail, work that represents the real you, doing research, and the wisdom 
the angel wisdom within this card is Archangel Gabriel is your go-to angel for jump-starting your creativity and mo motivation. The power of the Empress, card number three, will create focus and passion for your endeavours. And up next, in exactly the same position as Aquarius. Okay, Libra? And considering that's your fellow Earth sign, that's interesting. Balance, 14. Archangel Zadkiel is here to help bring balance to your situation. With warm colours rising from one cup and cool colours rising from the other, the full rainbow of options is present. Only where they meet, which is above his head. The quote, a quote from the ancient philosopher Aristotle that reads, The whole is greater than the sum of its parts, encapsulates the balance card. At this time, ideas from multiple sources or efforts that are the result of contributions from more than one person will create something bigger and better than what each individual might have offered alone. Now is the time to be open to compromise and cooperation with others. The perfect solution is one which each person's input is taken into consideration and blended into a win-win that everyone can feel good about. This could be a good time for finding your own personal balance. Go for a quiet walk, talk to your angels and release whatever anxieties are currently challenging you. Be open to aha moments and epiphanies from the divine. The additional meanings of this card are moderation and self-restraint, merging viewpoints to create a superior opportunity, a moderate pace, striving for an appropriate reaction to the situation at hand, waiting for perfect timing. Nice. Waiting for perfect timing. Knight of Fire, Knight of Wands. Here I come to save the day, it says, in quotes at the top. The Knight of Fire is the action that comes immediately following the inspiration of the Page of Fire. The time has come to act, and to act swiftly. Sure, you've given some thought to what's next, but you won't linger too long. Who has time to sit around and chat? In quotes. You tell people with a wink and a smile. You're com you completely trust your instincts, and moss certainly doesn't grow under your feet. Your feelings are probably more insightful than your intellect right now, so you rely heavily on them. Should there be a need to multitask, that's no problem. You can ride to the rescue and save the day and make toast all at the same time. <laughs> and fry an egg while you're doing it. You've got this. You have every confidence that you'll succeed, but if anything goes wrong, you just pick yourself up and dust yourself off and start all over again. And of course, you're always smiling for the camera because people are watching you with excitement and and anticipation. Brackets, why wouldn't they be? Words of awareness for this card. Would it kill you just to have a little backup plan? How about just a plan, any plan at all? Beware of hasty assumptions and don't judge others too quickly. Don't be reckless, as with the page of fire, it would be super cool if you'd follow the project through to the end. If this is referring to other people, another person in your life, passionate and passionate, adventurous, charming, confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic, dynamic, spontaneous, daring, exuberant, sexy, arrogant, braggart, restless and exhausting. The additional meanings for this card are a passionate love affair, travel, moving or relocation, an emergency, brainstorming or inspiring others. Inspiring others is always a very good zone to be in. That's for sure. 
two fire so with two fire signs the uh, cards in a row it, it could be that that is referring to someone else who is a fire sign I was getting that feeling while I was reading it and I remembered to say it the six of fire six of wands outstanding you've done an amazing job and everyone knows it this is no time to be shy as there is likely to be a lot of attention coming your way just smile be humble and say thank you this is a card of victory clearly you've worked your way past any challenges you faced and now you get to bask in the glory of your accomplishments it's time to be a role model for others by letting them see the wonderful things you've created this card can indicate magical news is on its way to you such as a promotion an award or an exciting job additional meanings of this card victory receiving awards or scholarships being in the public eye an offer of help from someone who's very successful wise choices that bring widespread acknowledgement and the angel wisdom within this card is th the card visually recalls the Sun XIX indicating the success and recognition you deserve Archangel Uriel is standing by to interpret how your recent accomplishments can help you transform your life and ending on the seven of earth seven of pentacles this is a card of patience and faith think of your efforts so far as being like planting seeds in a garden if cared for properly then your harvest will be bountiful and abundant however that usually doesn't happen overnight the seven of earth can make it feel as though things have come to a standstill but they haven't plans like plants take time to grow and some dreams grow more slowly than others there is no need to worry tend to your metaphorical garden and it will bring forth fruit in the meantime this is a good time to rest assess your plans for the future and work on other priorities just don't ignore your garden the additional meanings of this card are perseverance slow but measurable progress future rewards for your efforts reaching a preliminary goal or unnecessary worry now the wisdom the angel wisdom within this card is the wheel x 10 card number 10 reminds so that's referring to the wheel of fortune reminds us that even though things may seem to be stuck it's only temporary Archangel Gabriel will help you to get things moving again so call out to Archangel Gabriel if you do get that stuck thing after you've got working working on something you love bringing balance into your life success victory in this and then stuck so that's interesting for the cards to come in that order so that is indicating that you might all of a sudden feel quite stuck after everything going so well if that is the case patience is required okay libra thank you for being here take care bye Mm-hmm.